Hi guys, Scatlink here. Welcome to my modding showcasing sub-series, Hats Off To You, a series of which we try out community created hats, costumes, functions, singular levels, full chapters, or time rifts created by the Hat in Time fan community via the Steam Workshop. This will also include any challenge roads of which will have their own video dedicated to earning ourselves a trophy, of which would otherwise be permanently missed. We have yet another challenge road for us to tackle. Let's go check out what the other three levels are. We have a purple blue rift, Trainbow Road, which I've seen trending on the workshop page actually, and Uncalm Galaxy. Which I have a problem with one collectible in that level, but we'll get into that in a bit. But for the most part, most of these are fine. It's a little bit of tricky platforming in Purple Time Rift. But Purple Blue Rift, it's not a Purple Rift, it's actually a Blue Rift, but it's just got purple elements. And uses Dweller stuff, as you can see in the thumbnail there. We've got Trainbow Road, obviously it's like a Rainbow Road themed level. I might have to turn the music down just a tad though, just in case. You know, Nintendo and all that. And, you know, Uncalm Galaxy is just a blue time rift with a bit of a quirk to it so let's have a little look at all four of these before we earn our eighth trophy by star shoals so it's him again you know the person who made uh, iron sky factory who is a mod on the official hat time discord not to be confused with an actual purple time rift requires the dweller mask and grappling hook the uh Checkpoint between the second and third segments. The second segment's the longest, the third segment's the toughest, and because the second segment's the longest, if you mess up, you gotta do it all again. So that's that's one thing that I'll get into when we get through that. But short and sweet, to the point, we're gonna have a little go with that. We've also got Trainbow Road by Drunk Accordion. A version 1.1.0, so a little bit different. It's a late entry for the third modding jam, with the theme of Nyakasa Metro, or of course, the third modding jam, you know, was pretty much when uh, Nyakasa Metro was released, so you can actually use those elements for modding. Didn't make the deadline due to technical difficulties, but releasing it anyway, it's like Rainbow Road, but with trains. It explains itself, really. There is one Rift token for us to collect in this level. Of course, alongside the mod rift token, once we grab the mod timepiece outside of Challenge Road, but obviously I do that off screen. And that means we will also have some spins. If we don't take so long in this video, we might actually be able to use the rest of our tokens up, because we're going to get another five by going through Uncalm Galaxy, not including the one, obviously. There's five in the level to find. I just realised the uh, image could use a bit of extra cropping there. I think I could see the top of the, uh, uh, the window. <laughs> Follower of an Apocalypse. What a name! A relatively short rift that qu quickly escalates in difficulty, ending with a timed section. Also my second practice level mod. Technically no requirements, but the hook badge is necessary to collect all five rift tokens without taking damage. So with that, let's hop on in. I'm never going to get away from that laugh, am I? Yeah, that's the final segment of the level, and that can be a little bit complicated. That's the second part of the level, and of course we don't see the first because we're going to be doing that when we get there. That's the second half of the, sec of the second uh, portion. I guess you could call it like three portions, but yeah, it gets a little bit janky. Also, I like how this is constructed, to be honest. Like, there's a very stylistic platform, although you could probably fall down the gaps, which is not a good idea. I like how this looks, and I also like the purple. It's a lot different than you're used to. Also, I have the magnet badge on. Maybe I would like the fast hatter, because we are going to need the dweller mask for pretty much this entire level. So, let's try and get to the next segment here, onto the gear. They're all random, they're all like different colours, but that don't really mean anything in terms of how they function. So, keep that in mind. We've got some spores to swing on here instead of lamps, so a little bit of a creative freedom right there, which I kind of like. We've got a choice on which way we want to go. We could go that way for ponds, or we go this way because it's just kind of more obvious. I kind of messed that up a bit there, but even if you do go through that way, you can swing to this side anyway. So it's not that big of an issue, but that is the first checkpoint already. As I've said many a time, I already know what I do with these challenge roads because I get them. I get, want the trophy on my own personal file as well. So, and plus it helps for practice, and these are technically part of an achievement, as I've mentioned many a time, but... Plus, it's also three mods in a row. If I didn't know what I was doing, I could take a little bit longer 
to get through them. Okay, so I messed up a bit there. I accidentally counteracted the, uh, the Dweller Bubble with my own Dweller Bubble, so I fell through what was actually solid. Mubby, that's fine. Just grab this Harpon right here, there's two of them. But yeah, what we gotta do is get onto the edge of hit- I pressed the hat button, Ex We were just having that in the two Death Wish videos that we just had to do. I don't really want that happening here, even though I'm right off the hills with that. I am now messing up very stupidly, but I did press my hat ability when I was in the bubble and it didn't actually use my hat, so I fell through the platform. So, I don't know what happened there. Can I grab this please? Thank you. Right, let's try this again. This time without any shenanigans. Thank you. Right, what we got to do here is get to the edge of this one, jump onto the edge of this one, but turn off our hat before we land on it, otherwise we will fall through. So I guess the red is like the usual green and the purple is now the blue, I guess. I did that stupidly, but I can salvage. Awesome. What I was supposed to do was jump in the bubble with my hat active to counteract the bubble so it would be solid. Didn't do that, but hey, we made it to the third checkpoint. That was the longest segment of the level. Now we got this. Yeah, this looks a bit uh, harrowing to say the very least. What I like to do is just basically triple jump over every bubble. I don't try to keep trying to counteract it, even with the fast hatter. Just do a double jump and lunge to give yourself extra air time. And you'll pretty much land back on the exact same platform without, you know, it being not tangible due to the bubbles. Get to the... Well, I didn't mean to jump on the purple flames, but fair enough. We are now at the final segment. And, uh... I think I want the sprint hat. Because... There is a way you can do this, if you, there's two ways you can do this, you can either follow your one platform all the way across again, but do, considering their speed, that's going to take a while, or you jump in between the bubbles, and you jump with them with the sprint hat, or double jump and lunge, like this. And this is the more preferred method, because otherwise you're going to take quite a while to get across this, and there we are, that's it, we're done, no collectibles to grab for this particular one, short, sweet, and quite challenging. But not too much that it's a bit unfair, very nicely done. Also, while going through this again just to get the uh, mod uh, timepiece for the mod rift token, I didn't actually mention, this music sounds familiar, but I don't know what it's from. It must, it sounds very ZX Spectrum-ish, or Commodore 64-ish. And I don't know what it's from, I don't know if it's a remix or an original composition, if it's from another game or something, I'm not entirely too sure, it'd be nice to know. Alright, this one actually does not give us an additional spin. Fair enough, then. But I, I, I like I clipped him because I wanted to mention the music that I completely forgot to mention going through during the challenge road, but yeah, purple, blue rift doesn't count as either of them, apparently, in the code. I'm pretty sure I still have stuff in the rift roulette because I have the... because I have another mod that I'll we'll talk about in a bit. Trainbow Road with electrical pond walls that we got to get through. In fact, since we're not actually in DLC 2 in the main Let's Play at the moment, we do have the badge display mod that's appearing for the first time in Hats of 2. I actually uh, showed it in the main LP first because, you know, it's just, you know, part of the HUD. It's quite helpful. But the thing about that is that, yeah, when the pond meter shows up, apparently the mod itself says that there's a bit of a glitch where the first pond you collect that brings up that part of the HUD. It don't move, but the second one you grab it will move, but most they're mostly bunched in three to fives anyway, so that's not really that big of a problem, and I think the problem's fixed anyway, despite being part of the uh, description. You could hop onto your scooter here to be in true Mario Kart fashion, but you got to slide underneath that sign anyway, so I just run with the sprint hat. Do -do 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 -do. Let's ride the trains! Now, here's a nice effect that I like what they've done with the trains. The trains themselves are actually rainbow, and I actually overshot that, um, that ring of fire. You're supposed to jump through it. You can get some serious height off of these. Wow, the final jump before the checkpoint. That's me. <laughs> That's me. And you know what? I'm actually having fun again, despite having a bit of a challenge, because I just came off of two Death Wish videos, and I've immediately gone into this, because... Well, I've already got my recording set up uh, going on, and this is fun. <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't like the Death Wishes, who would have thought? There's that token, you got to jump around here in order to do it. 
you can't actually wall climb off of these signs, which is kind of weird, yeah. But if you have no bonk, you can probably lunge over it. Yeah, with the no bonk badge, you can lunge over it, because I've tried without the no bonk badge, and it won't let you do that. But if we do not continue on with the level and go where we're technically not supposed to go, but it doesn't stop us... The hitbox for this, uh, meteor... <laughs> it's not quite right! <laughs> It's also kind of like a diamond, because if I keep on going forward, I'll just immediately, like, move downwards a bit. Yeah, here we are. So, we're at a point. <laughs> it's kind of weird, though, because, like, I can't actually see below me, so... It's kind of funny. And there's also something else that's kind of weird, which, by the way, we have reached a checkpoint now. It will put us right next to that warning sign over there. Next to that, uh, restaurant, actually. But if we come over down this way and try to land on this bit, even though it's the same asset from where we were just at, for whatever reason, it kind of pushes us off and we can't land on it properly. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that, but we got a harp on here. It's fine because we got food here as well. I'm going to need a bit of health because uh, I took a bit of damage because I was showing that sh weird bits off. I mean, I don't mean to show off like out of bounds stuff that is kind of janky and not meant to be in the mod, but nothing was stopping me from doing that. I use no mods in order to do that, so yeah. I just thought I'd point that out, just so that you know that yeah, you can't stand there, and it's not po it's not correctly collisioned. All right, now we got some uh, train hopping action to deal with here. As long as exploding cakes, you I hate you guys from Death Wish. Please don't hit me, please. Also, hitting the electricity here will be an automatic respawn. I was supposed to hook shot. Yep, there we are. They hit me. I was supposed to hook shot that zip line. And we would have got something pretty amazing for that. Some pretty nice visuals. And for some reason... I'm jumping! What the heck? I got stuck on it! Well, that was dumb. I'm going to have to heal again. Give me a minute. Oh, I can't heal again. I forget. There's a there's a cooldown. Oh dear. Well, let's not mess this up anymore. Let's... What did I just say? Let's not mess this up. Immediately hop on the train. That will hurt me. Please heal me. The problem is with those guys is that if you talk to them and actually buy something, you got to wait until they quote-unquote cook more. So they got a cooldown, so you can't abuse them even in the main game. So, hmm, that's a bit annoying. Because you put them in there, so you have pretty much infinite health ponds, but you can't do that. Right, let's hookshot this, and we're going to be pretty much following our trains that we were just standing on to get all the way up here. So we're going to hop onto the same trains that we were effectively on. And I didn't grab that health pond, which I would have gladly liked to have. Maybe I should put the magnet badge back on. Because I don't really need the no bonk at the moment, but this is easy enough. I say that, watch what happens. Touch the lava, it's an automatic respawn. We don't want that, obviously. Now we've got some train dolphin hopping, effectively. Just hold forward while you're jumping on each one. And then get off right here. Effectively full recovery. That's a checkpoint, and now we've got some precision platforming. But we're actually on the last segment of the level at this point. So, after this bit of precision platforming, uh, would like the brewing hat, please. Thank you. We're at the final part of the level, so let's blow this up. Switch to the dweller hat. Dweller mask, whatever. Grab the rest of the ponds, because we need them. Now, let's take a bit of stock in the area that we're at. So, we've got blocks that we need to pretty much use the dweller mask in order to avoid. We've got platforms that the Dweller Mask is requiring. So, Fast Hat will probably be a bit more helpful than the Magnet Badge again. Let's change trains so we can grab more ponds. We can say over there that we got like a block of ice where that looks to have like something in it, possibly a switch. We need the ponds in order to get to the uh, cherry. Grab the rest of the ponds. There's another switch there encased in ice. And there's also a cannon that is locked. So you can kind of piece together what you need to do. You need to hit the two switches in order to open up the, uh, the cannon. And our dweller buddy is actually right over here. So what we want to do is pick this up. This button resets the uh, cherry if it doesn't respawn automatically. Most mods have that as a default. Now, we got to time this. So we got to jump onto here, jump onto this train. Then, how did I miss the train? Really, man? I'm still holding the cherry, though, so that's kind of funny. Right. So let's try and stretch out our ponds a little bit here. Try and jump onto this train again. There we are. Then use momentum to angle the uh, jump properly. Jump across these platforms. Deactivate the hat. Wait for a hat to recharge. Jump on here. Chuck the cherry. 
I missed. That's not good. Gonna have to try again. That's what I wanted to do. Now we can hit this button. And it points... Well, no matter which one you hit, it will point to the other one. So we gotta hit them both anyway. But at least the game tells you, hey, you hit a switch. Maybe you didn't know about this one. You gotta hit this one as well. Very appreciative. I will admit. So... Like I said, this is really well made. It's just not as racing centric as you would expect. So we're going to get this, use our hat to fall down the block a lot quicker, because it's a lot quicker than jumping down. Ride this across. Time off throw. Yeah, baba. That was not correct. Oh dear. Right, let's get back up and get ourselves another cherry and try that again. I'm having to do things twice quite a lot in this video. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to jump and chuck it, and then use my hat so I don't get stuck by the thing. I blew up the ice. Helpful. Let's hop onto this train to get back down around here quicker. We could probably climb up on the purple blocks, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to jump around and hit the button. There we are. Two times is the charm, apparently, for this particular video, because I've had to do almost every section twice of, every, of all the levels thus far. But, hey, we did it. We didn't die. We still got three lives in the bag. Take the cannon. Hibuski got the one token in the level. And that's this level complete. That's two out of three. What's the third one? Alright, so we're going to chill you for a minute. I don't have a good hat on, and I can't... Oh, I can't actually change while I'm sitting down, I forgot about that. And I can't talk to you while sitting down, so that's a little bit annoying, so... Let's talk to this, uh, fellow owl here. Or, crow, shall we say. He is a crow. It's calm here. Take your time, if you want. Or come sit with me. There's a timepiece up ahead, I think. The stars are so beautiful. Turning into Shatner. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Because <laughs> he said the stars. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he's fine. This platform looks like it will fall, but it won't. I guess it's to dupe you out. Go underneath this platform, and there's a rift token right here. Remember, there's five to find in this level. And they're actually kind of all in the open. It's just one of them is really tricky to get. And it doesn't feel like that's the intended way, but it is. Because there's no other way I'm doing it. So maybe rethink the, the last token. But we'll get to that in a bit. Let's just jump across these, or you can use the uh, umbrella down below. So the first segment is pretty much quite easy. Not much to uh, write home about there. I like how I'm Banjo with a hollow mask, by the way. This is... <laughs> That's not a good mix. Hello again. You're doing well. They say it's important to not dwell on the past. To seize the opportunities of the day. But it's also important to stop every now and then to smell the roses. Not that there are any roses here, anyway. Yeah, they probably wouldn't survive in space, mate. Okay, here's the thing. What you're intended to do is bounce on these balloons in order to get that token that's just floating out there, and then right after coming out of the grabbing cutscene, immediately hit your, uh, well, whatever your button is for X, in my case, my, your attack button, to hook shot that lamp and then swing back. I just say take the hit. It's a lot easier than trying to angle the, uh, angle your jump, and I'm need to be on this platform actually because these two kind of swivel around but they don't like increase your height or anything but this is at level with this one so we can just do this and plus we could probably hook shot this one again if we're lucky anyway so let's do this grab that so that's another one hook shot there we go see you can do it without getting hit if you know how to do it so let's do that and there's another token right underneath there there's a token all the way over there on that little wedge and if we just go a little bit further forward, I can see the token, but not the gloat. There it is. There's a token over there. They're all out in the open, so they're quite easy to find. Let's grab that, this one as well. Yeah, these platforms aren't really causing much of a platforming challenge for us. It's basically just a swerve you. Maybe making this video on this particular mod kind of ruins that, but... <laughs> how else am I supposed to showcase it? It was a practice mod, I will admit, but it's still quite a unique mod. I do like it. I'd like to be honest with you. I'd like to, but I can't. I'm sorry, but thanks for seeking me out. Have this token in recompense. You have noticed I'm not actually a crow, right? Yeah, because he's not even an NPC. He just has something to talk to. <laughs> he's literally a stuffed one. I think he's just uh, one of the stuffed ones that you see throughout your ship uh, when you have DLC 2, I believe. And that might be it, so... Anyway, we've got three out of five thus far, so we're pretty much almost done. I shouldn't have done that! 
I jumped way too early. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, I need to get back to the uh, sprint hat anyway for this well, upcoming section, but I need to get this one first. Right, so this one's quite tall and out of the way. This one kind of stumped me. I didn't actually know how to get it without using other mods like, you know, the rocket cap or the wing cap or something like that, and I refused to do it that way. So I had to figure out how to get it. You need enough height in order to actually jump up there, but we're not at the right height yet. You're gonna jump on the lid of the cannon, and then jump at the wall and climb it. That's how you're supposed to get it, and that that's a very fine point that you have to stand on to the lid, otherwise you'll slide and possibly land in the cannon to the next part of the level. That, this token... Not a good token in my opinion. I mean it is a brain scratcher. I will I will admit it is a head scratcher It is a brain teaser, but I kind of fused those two in a one, but yeah, that's it's not That doesn't feel like that should be the right thing Maybe if there was like a hidden hookshot thing that would bring you upwards inside and it just drags you up or something I don't know. I'm not a fan of that, but once you take this cannon I wish I we could rest more, but we can't. I need that timepiece. Yeah, Hat Kid speaking. We need the timepiece. So yeah, someone was talking there. I, I thought it was actually Hat Kid. Oh, how did I miss that, really? Does the timer still tick while I have this? I'm not entirely too sure. But yeah, I've always thought that was Hat Kid, but it was Race Me, so I think it's like the timer itself talking. I might have had to change that in editing because that was a bit like, all over the place with me, but yeah. Um, you don't need the sprint hat for this. You have plenty of time to make it without it. Oh my god, how do I skip that? <laughs> right. There we are. <laughs> Sorry about that, I was all over the place for that final segment. But yeah, the last segment was actually told to be a... T it actually said it would be a time trial. And that's what it is. That's the entire challenge road done. That was actually pretty quick, so I think we're going to be doing them again to get our tokens. And obviously have our additional spins, that means we're going to get another spin from this particular one, but... You know, I probably would have edited those in, obviously, because I have to do them afterwards. But I have installed new mods for the Rift Roulette, so this is going to be fun. What's this one? The Little Pianist. Or Pianoist, if you don't like how that's worded. This is a cool looking one! Funnily enough, the only thing that's going to give us a spin is the one that ended off the entire challenge road, Unca uh, Uncalm uh, Galaxy. So, we've got a few things here. Uh, I'm going to re-roll, see what else we can get. Okay, they're all going to be the same thing. We have Temmie! Hooey! If I get my original hat back out... Yeah, it's just a black and white one, nothing too dramatic. But with another hat, I think it's the striped one, Nope, that's not that one. Uh, which which flare is it? It's one of these flares. Is it that one? Nope, that's the one with the bow on it, so that's not it. It might be the completionist hat that I'm thinking of. Wait, where is it? Where have you gone? There you are. Yeah, there we are. That, that's more piano-ish. I, I swear that the hat is supposed to have, like, lines of black and white, but apparently it don't, but this is the closest what I remember seeing. But yeah, it's just black and white, like the, the keys of a piano. That is our eighth, uh, that's, that, yeah, that's our eighth trophy, so I've got to go back through these myself in order to clip the things in, but after I do that, which you've already seen, we'll go to the Rift Roulette because that's another three tokens for an additional spin. Of course, that means we have Temi Colors, another Undertale character that's pretty much based off of. Okay, I'm gonna go grab one more token for elsewhere, probably from uh, the uh, level where you can actually buy them, uh, the Conductor's Village, because I've got one more left and I might as well grab one now, so that we can start spending them, because I'm trying to lead towards it, let's go do it. We should have at least five more things in here, because one mod actually gives us five things, and we have just enough tokens to actually spend our money on that. I'm just surprised we we haven't got any of them from anything, so let's go sort that out, so I'm gonna re-roll, make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, for some reason they weren't showing up earlier. We'll take that one, that looks like Margin of the Night. Hat Genie Hero, well, I, I wasn't expecting to get that one the first time, yep, Shantae Colors. Because we have a mod that pretty much gives me five different, like, costumes, it's called the, the Shantae Hat Genie Hero. So, that's what it is. Mad, uh, yeah. And it gives us a, uh, 
Shantae, a Nega Shantae, two pallets of uh, Risky Boots, and I believe the green... Actually, let's go for the green one like we had last time. Yeah, because I think this is Roddy Tops. Yeah, Roddy Tops. So we'll equip that one. And yeah, we have like the colours of Roddy Tops. Um, except for the fact that it doesn't change Hat, hat Kid's uh, skin to a green. But I guess that would be a bit too much. I mean, you've already got a purple hi uh, like highlights, but her cape and your hats and all that when that would normally be her hair so I don't know not exact but you know creative liberties with Hat Kids actual ensemble this one's supposed to be Risky Boots yeah ris uh, Risky Boots I like how they're all like puns due to what you, like Hat Kid would do yeah this one's uh, n a normal Risky Boots so that's pretty cool I'm actually going to be clean out of tokens after this so that's pretty cool this one is the Meanie Genie, so this is Nega Shantae, the Dark Shantae. And I actually like this. The I don't. Okay, um, the, I I actually like this more than usual. I mean, I like them. Obviously, I wouldn't have installed them, but of course, obviously, I haven't had them as well because we're clearing out the Rift Roulette almost every time at this point, but. I actually like how this looks. I actually like how this is what this is definitely one of my favorites. I might actually wear this for the next uh, Death Wish episode, which would be rather fitting. Even though we just got the banjo costume, which is what we started this episode on. All right, so I think this is our final roll. Yeah, it looks like our final roll. This is uh, gonna be our last item. Retro pirate. Yep, this is Risky Boots' old colors, which is. I like that jet black. I don't know about the Raider, but I love the Jet Black. That reminds me of the Black Widow that's like a die that is part of the main game. Oh, I'm torn. I think I'll have Nega Shantae for one episode and then I'll probably go back to this. So let me go back and check that out. Yeah, Mini Genie. Yeah, I like this. Who made this again? That's why I couldn't remember it. I said Hat Genie Hero. That was actually one of the names of the dives. It's Half Genie Hatter by Dylan A. Bit. I don't think we've actually had anything featured by you before, but you, yeah. I mean, I, I forget to actually showcase the, the die screen, but at the same time, it's more like, more like, you just search for that character, that's pretty much the only die. But in this particular case, it's a pack, and you could probably get them all separately anyway. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what? Since I'm on the screen, I might as well do that. <laughs> yeah, you can see how that is a very creepy face. That's actually the emote pose. If we had DLC 2 installed, that actually adds it to the emote wheel, which we'll get into, obviously, once we get to that point, because we're still in um, DLC uh, 1 at this point. But you get what I mean. But yeah, so that is pretty much all I had uh, scheduled for today, really, in terms of... Uh, the challenge road i didn't know how long the challenge road was going to be but of course if we did have any time spared we would clear out the rift roulette again so i'll go install more mods and yeah i've got no more tokens left in here yet again which should is how it should be for the let's play up to this point so with that guys in the next episode please keep on suggesting different mods or whenever the next challenge road comes out on the discord or in in the comment section below and with that i'll see you guys either for the next episode of hats off to you or hat in time or anything else on the channel see you guys then Thank you.